Uh, hello, friends and family. Uh, so I was recently, well, I was, uh, I was eating a Pringle the other day, and I was informed that Pringles are made out of the same stuff as uh, uh, mashed potato flakes, like instant mashed potatoes. And since I was eating it at the time, I could tell that the person was correct just based off of what was happening in my mouth. So uh, I bought four uh, cylinders of Pringles. Um, from the store and while I was there I took a picture of the back of a box of instant mashed potatoes and I'm basically repeating that recipe uh, so here we go let's do this so a load of baked potato there you go uh, sour cream and onions totally fine um, and the original flavor nothing wrong with that either So, I'm looking to have 100% of the seasoning come from the Pringles themselves. Um, so I feel pretty happy with the uh, sour cream and onion mixed with the baked potato, the loaded baked potato flavor. And uh, the original as well, it should be pretty salty. And uh, I'm just crushing them up. Um, I didn't spend any time to Google if anybody else had already done this. Uh, so this could just be like the worst version of something that's been done several times over. All right, where's my measuring cup? There it is. I need two cups of flakes. That's not enough. Oh, that's really easy, actually. I might end up adding pepper to it uh, after I'm done making the video because I like pepper a lot. And uh, all right, so it's been added to this heated up milk and margarine. <laughs> water so two cups <laughs> makes extremely runny Pringles mashed potatoes they are really not mixing I probably should have ground them up quite a bit more um, I was gonna try to make this video one that I didn't have to edit and now it looks like I'm gonna have to edit which I have no idea how to do um, they're really <laughs> mixing very well at all <laughs> Don't, I mean, I didn't really expect this to be all that good to begin with, so if it's bad, that's not a surprise to me whatsoever, and it's totally fine, um, because I'll probably eat it no matter what. All right, so I'm adding two more handfuls of, three handfuls of Pringles, um, and we are, go back to stirring this pot, which currently looks like this, and uh, will probably continue to look like that. For a couple more stirs. All right, so it's looking pretty lumpy. Um, I don't know. I don't know. This is good. I don't, it looks like a exactly what I did. It looks like a bowl of mashed potatoes. All right, it kind of looks like a bowl of mashed potatoes now. All right, I'm gonna really whip it up into shape. See if I can get these things to combine. I'm going to add another uh, arbitrary amount of sprinkles and I'm going to stir it one more time and now we're starting to get the lumpiness that you really want in some mashed potatoes or I don't know what you want uh, but I prefer to make homemade mashed potatoes <laughs> I actually really hate instant mashed potato flakes um, alright that looks like that um, arguably, these are mashed potatoes. Let's try it out. Wow. Sour cream and onion really comes out. Pretty strong. I wish I would have used a quarter of the can. Um, it's not the worst thing I've ever had. Um, I don't know. It's possible that it's better than... I'm going to put some hot sauce in it. Uh, better than regular flaked mashed potatoes. I didn't look at the price <clears throat> when I was in the store um, of the instant mashed potatoes, so I don't actually know if it's cheaper, um, but it's definitely stupider. It feels stupid. Oh, shit. I mean, all right, that's actually pretty good. Uh, it's part of a well-balanced meal of things that I have in my kitchen. Okay, thank you for watching. Sorry, it's five minutes long.